Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. In one of my last videos, I showed you how to do an end screen card in LumaFusion and bring it over into the YouTube Studio Creator. But here's the thing. The overhead camera was on auto ISO. So when you were looking at the screen, it was completely blown out and you really could not see it. And I got a few comments saying, you know, you went too fast, we couldn't see anything. And then I remembered why I even started this channel. I wanted to make it very easy for people who are my age and older to be able to go slow at our own pace and learn and understand. So thank you to everyone who left those comments. I'm going to fix that right now by redoing the YouTube Studio Creator part of that last video. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Okay, so first things first, let's jump on the internet. I use Google Chrome. Now I want to go to YouTube. Now, when you go to YouTube on an iPad, and this is the home screen, you have to hit the three little dots in the upper right hand corner and scroll down until you see request desktop site. Then you hit your picture and then you choose creator studio and that is going to bring up your channel dashboard. So let's go to the video that we want to work on. We go to the left hand side and hit videos. And we'll go to whatever video you want to work on. I'll choose this one. Now on the side here, we have the options for all the different things that you can do for your videos, your playlists, the end screen cards, visibility, and all this stuff over here. So what we're working on in this one is the end screen. So let's hit end screen. And how is this looking? Let me just hit this. Okay, I'm going to have to crank the shutter a little bit. Okay, that looks good. So now we want to begin to build our end screen. And of course there's options. They give you different layout options right here. If you want to import from your last video, which is always what I do because it's the easiest thing to do. One video, one playlist, and one subscribe button. That's what I recommend to do. That's what pretty much everyone else does. So you can hit that and that will build your template right then and there. But what we're going to do is do it element by element. So go to where it says plus element. We'll hit that. Now let's choose our subscribe button. Now I want to work with the subscribe button. You see these little blue bars that pop up, little crosshairs. What I want to do here is center it. Now what you're looking for is the single crosshair in the middle right there. That's going to be perfectly centered. Did you see that? I'll tap it again. That will come up and that way you know that your subscribe button is going to be centered perfectly. Let's add another element. Let's choose a playlist. Being that this is a microphone review, I will choose microphone reviews and tutorials. And we'll move that around again until we see the crosshairs. We want it level with the subscribe button. Right there, that looks good. Let's add another element. And let's choose a video on this one. Now here you can choose uh, what's best for the viewer, choose a specific video or your most recent. I'll let the algorithm pick, so I'll hit best for viewer. You see where this says this red thing comes up? That just means it's overlapping the other videos. So they want you to move it so that it's on its own. And once again, we're going to be looking for those crosshairs to make sure that everything is centered perfectly. And there you go. And down here, you can see exactly when your end screen is going to begin and when your end screen is going to end. And of course, this is the way that I just always set mine up. You don't have to do it like this. You can move one down here and you can move this up here. It's completely your taste, however it is that you want to set it up. Once you have all the changes done, hit save and that will kick you back to that video dashboard. And that's how you do an end screen in YouTube. Now, while we're here in my dashboard, I have a copyright claim against one of my videos. So let's just go ahead and talk about that too while we're here. <laughs> so I have a subscription to Storyblocks in LumaFusion. It's not much, it's like 80 bucks a year, but they have a full library of songs and sound effects and video clips, all these different things you're able to use. However, every now and then, even though you have a paid subscription, you might come across a copyright claim for something that's being used in your edits. That's why it's important that when you're uploading your videos from LumaFusion that you always make them private. This way it allows YouTube to run through everything to see if there's going to be a claim put against that video. They pretty quickly send you an email saying, hey, there's a copyright claim against your video for whatever reason. Either there's product in their video or software. 
songs. It's You mostly get called out for songs. This way, it's not live while all this is going on. You have a chance to address it, and then once it's all cleared up, then you can launch it and make sure you're making all of the money that you're supposed to on your video. But anyway, once you're in your channel dashboard and you come across the copyright claim, what you have to do is go right to copyright claim, tap it, tap see details, and this is going to give you all the granular information about why there's a claim against your video. So right there, content used joyful ride it's a song claim and it tells you who is putting the claim against you so this says hawk for a third party on behalf of simon jomphy lapine but i paid for that song so i should have every right to use that song of course i'm going to fight this so i thought i would just fight it right here so i went to select action now you can either do things you can trim out a particular segment you can replace the song you can mute a song I don't recommend muting a song. I did that with another video and it basically just wiped out all of the audio. I think it was a, a studio tour I had done. So initially I hit dispute. So you go to dispute and it, sh it says here, remember that the following are not valid reasons to dispute a content ID claim. So I hit, you know, my dispute isn't based on that and I hit continue. But by the way, each step you go, it gets scarier and scarier and scarier. Like I put, I have a license for this, continue. And then it says, you know, not all licenses mean that you can use the song. And at this point is where I started to get freaked out because then they start to say, if indeed it turns out that you're not allowed to use the song, that basically they're going to kick you off the platform or demonetize you. Like there's going to be serious punishment if you're filing against this claim and you don't have the right to. So I was freaked out. So I just kept going back, back, back. If this happens to you, reach out to LumaTouch. Don't try to handle this yourself. Let them deal with it. You've paid for the subscription of Storyblocks. Let them deal with it. Let them clear everything up. It's going to take a few days, but just be patient. All of it is going to be wrapped up. But there are a couple of things that you need to send to LumaTouch. Let's go back to the copyright claim. You need to send them the basic information about which song has a claim against it and who is filing the claim. You also need to go into LumaFusion. So let's go ahead and go into LumaFusion and give them an ID number for, for that particular song. So in the timeline, highlight the song that's been claimed. Now you need to go up to here and hit this little information bubble all the way to the left. Do you see that? Boom. That is going to give you this SB ID number. You need to send LumaTouch that SB ID number. This way, when they go to take care of the claim, they have all the information they need. You guys don't have to go back and forth. Give them all the information at once and let them clear it up. And this could not have come at a worse time because Movo sent me this microphone to review. You guys know my mom passed away, so I had to like put everything to the side. So meanwhile, they're waiting on this review of this microphone. The microphone has already been launched. I was late making the video and now I have to wait on this. So I'm, you know, just not happy about this. So my very first copyright claim was for a song called Vlogger's Delight. So while I was getting all the information and sending it over to LumaTouch, I realized that that Vlogger's Delight was one of the free songs that Storyblocks has listed. So not only did I have a paid subscription with Storyblocks, but I was using a free song and I still got a strike. So even if you don't have a paid subscription through Storyblocks, you can use these free songs that is absolutely allowed always let luma touch handle it never try to battle youtube yourself sometimes you can make a mistake and you can be penalized in a very big way so just be careful let the professionals over at luma touch handle it for you oh, i don't know i'll figure it out oh shucks i do have a boatload of requests to get through still i appreciate your patience it's been a very rough month and a half for me I'm sure you've noticed the latter half of this video, you'll notice the passing of time. It's much darker in here. That's because when I went to first do the video, I hit the internet and my mother's obituary popped up. So a break and like 10 cigarettes later, I came in to finish it. It, it takes time. It gets there. But um, we, we made it through. We got it. Keep it together. We still got, we still have another thing to do. Hey, this microphone place contacted me and they want me to make a video saying their name a bunch of different ways. Like, 
I don't know how to say it. I, when I did the review on this one, I just kept saying mono. It's mono. So I, ha I still have that video to do. So thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, please wear your sunblock and call your mom and dad to say how much you love them.